Hey, what's up everyone? This is a quick tutorial to show you how you can connect VCAM, uh, the VCAM app and Unremote 2 to Unreal Engine 5.1. So you can download these at the App Store, they are free. LiveLink VCAM is compatible with Unreal Engine 5.1. So once you have them, you open up Unreal and you're going to have to find your IP address. I'm not going to show you how to do that. You can find info on the internet to do that or on YouTube. Uh, it's in your network settings or IP config. But once you have that, you open up your settings, project settings, and on the left, go down into plugins over here and UDP messaging. And you're going to enter your IP address over here. So you can, um, for instance, if mine is 10.1.2.3, Four five. That's my IP address. Um, I add the dots with a zero at the end because that saves it in here as well. Because if you close, if you don't do that step and you close settings, it just that's gone. It resets it. So I keep that in. So I'm just gonna uh, enter my um, IP address over here off screen. All right, then you can close settings, or actually not, you can open it. Sorry, now I've opened plugins. That's the wrong one. Um, project settings, and type in buffer. And on default, your this is set to 10-bit RGB. You want to set it to 8-bit RGBA. Uh, it's going to ask you to maybe restart your system. Don't do that yet because you need to enable a few plugins. So plugin over here, your first one you want is Live Link. Enable that again. It's going to ask you to restart. Don't do that yet. Second one, virtual, not virtual production, virtual camera. Uh, enable that and remote session. Cool. And then I also uh, watched a video online where someone mentioned to enable apple i'm not sure if these help but if it helps my phone talking to my system then yeah i don't think it uh, does any damage having them on so anyway so then restart your system and once you open it back up now you want to enable live link so you go to windows virtual production and live link so i've got mine docked over here on the left now you go to your phone or your tablet and you open up the black app the unremote app because that's what we use to connect to unreal so you open that up and you put in your ip address just as is just your ip address and you hit connect you go to source message bus there it picked up mine you have to click that to activate it and it puts it in there um once you're done with that this is where I got confused because I tried to connect my VCAM over here as well and it didn't work. And that's not where you're supposed to do it. So this is the sequence that I'm doing it in that works for me. So once that's done, you can go to uh, Cinematics Virtual Camera and in Unreal 5.1, they got VCAM Actor over here. Um, I actually had one in that I deleted. Why is it not coming up now? Let me delete that first one. A uh, little bit of a hiccup here. There we go. Okay, so that is my virtual camera now. And inside your details panel over here, on the left, let me just make that bigger. Click on VCAM. Actually make that smaller. Um, and once you open it, your output providers will be collapsed. Uh, you can open it, index output. I override the resolution. And then you can, in live link subject, you click camera transform, and then you enable it. So now you've opened up the VCAM window. And now you can open the pink app, the live link uh, this one here, you can open that up, insert your IP address just as is, just the IP address, and now you can hit connect and it should pick up fine. And there we go. 
now you can look around with your phone and you can go up or down and you also got all your settings here which i'm not going to go into now but you can change your camera your lenses same thing all the stuff in your film back inside the engine so yeah like i mentioned i struggled a little bit with this not a little bit quite a lot <laughs> and i think it's the sequence of events that i uh didn't have an order but anyway i really hope this helps and uh i uh, if you enjoyed this video like it and i will try to do more in the future thank you so much for watching and have a great day